catch up with the hilarious dynamic duo David Arnold and Kim Whitley, dynamic who are going to be at the Baltimore <laughs> Comedy Factory this weekend. Get your tickets, BaltimoreComedy.com. So let me explain how the game works. Okay. Normally, there's one comedian in here, and if it was just you, Kim, I would say, WWKD, what would Kim do? I place you in pop culture scenarios and ask you, what would you do in those situations? Okay. Right. So now we're going to find out what he would do and what you would do. Uh, okay. 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 Question number one. I gotta get my. I gotta water myself. Take take a little sip. All right, handle that, Mama. The <sighs> pastor of your church convinced you that he needs a seventy million dollar jet to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now the leader of one point two billion Roman Catholics just rolled into town in a four door Fiat. WWKD. What would Kim Whitley do in that situation? If I was the pastor or if, if I was... If your pastor convinced pastor you convinced that me. he needed the $70 million jet to fly around and tell people about Jesus Christ, and now you just see the Pope roll through town in a four-door Fiat. Well, first I'd get rid of the pastor's wife, the first lady, so that I can roll around in that new jet. <laughs> but secondly, I'd tell the Pope, good for him, and let his followers ride around in their expensive cars. That's what I would do. I think he's giving it up for the people. All right. That's what I think. I didn't understand the real question. David! What? What's wrong? I ain't He's trying that. to set up his situation I'm now. Set you set up, up your situation. Up, I don't like that. I'm sorry, my ADD. I don't like that view under my chin. Look at that. How about I'm that? I'm sorry. So what would I do? I, I think I would. Is this a serious question, though? I think I We're would. We're comedians. Um, huh? They want, they want a real. Let, let me tell you something. What would Hold you on. do? If the pastor needs a jet, you get him a jet. No, you, you don't. You get the. I'm, first of all, I'm trying to be a pastor. <laughs> of what? Of, of faith and Follow what a I rehab say. rehab and liquor. And <laughs> <laughs> if the pastor want a jet, then, you know, get the pastor a jet. No, I don't think that's fair. Why? Really? Really? If the Pope, the biggest pastor the Pope of is the world, of he's a in a fiat. bulletproof car, which is the opposite of faith. Oh. oh. Did you just call Pope Francis out like I that? I think you did. if you God is protecting you, why you need a bulletproof uh, Ooh, window? Where if God is protecting you? My pastor why? ain't got no no window around him. Now, he's been shot three jet? times, why do you need but that ain't the point. <laughs> the point is, he believes. Oh you my take goodness. the bullet why and you keep it moving. But why a jet? Oh my goodness, this is if hilarious. you had to check in a Southwest, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, yeah, the pastor cool. should not have to wait for them to call his own We do, number. his followers do, his flock. Well, I don't really go to church. So I don't. But does I'm he really need a G6? I'm just saying. No, G4. It's, now, that's G4, disrespectful. G6 is a disrespect. G6 is disrespectful. Ah! I didn't know you said G6. He's taking, I thought you said G4. Because he's taking all the deacons with him in the deacon <laughs> He just need a G4. G4. Now and you're doing too G2, much. If they made a G2, he'd be all right. He need one of them little propeller planes. <laughs> okay, question two of three. You make history at the Emmys as an African-American. You give a moving, tear-filled acceptance speech mm -hmm. and then a Caucasian soap opera actress mm. tweets that you've never been discriminated against and that the Emmys is not a venue for racial opportunity WWDD what would David do in this situation um, well if you've ever been to the Emmys you know that there is a hallway that all the actors leave where mm -hmm. you can't see nobody Say, and there's no cameras going. so you wait for her to walk through and you smack the <laughs> shit out of her wait wait, wait. First, take all them drinks out her purse and that right. flask because right. obviously she's drunk she's out of her damn mind and that weed and them pills that she been popping <laughs> talk about she ain't never been discriminated against of course you ain't never been discriminated against you a against. white woman you a white woman what is wrong with you they can't take the truth that's no, what that but is but what she should have done is Viola uh, well I guess we this said right. should have snatched her in that bathroom like she would have done in high school and whooped her up real good whooped her up real good you whooped that ass a couple of times I bet you she'll, I, I bet she'll she. change. What? <laughs> then she'll have something to complain about. Yeah, right now you're being discriminated against. Oh acting goodness. like we ain't got no reason to be crying. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. No, they, they act like that, don't they? they you know what? Like, matter of fact, when I get back to LA, I'm going to find her. you going to no, find her. She apologized. <laughs> she always apologized. She knew social she media knew social her. media was going social to Social media almost killed the Black she, Twitter she, almost killed this. She had to take her kids out of school. I bet you she was like, this is it. This Black Lives Matter. This is out of control. This is real. <laughs> this is real. Okay, and finally, question number three. And this is a hypothetical question that I asked the entire Magic audience earlier means, today. What's like, the mean? Hypothetical, hypothetical means. Y'all okay, so funny. It. You're stuck on an island and can choose only one person to be stranded with. 
Will you choose Cookie Lion or Olivia Pope? WWKD, what would Kim Whitley do in this situation? Absolutely going with Cookie. I get Olivia, but Cookie, when I tell you, when times get rough, she gonna make some liquor out of them coconuts. <laughs> We're going to be drunk and kicking it. We're going to find some natives. We're going to be... Honey, she's going to take some natural titties out. It's going to be all the day. She's going to bring them. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. You Because Olivia, that. she cried too much. Yeah, it's going to be too much. She's going to be crying. We can't get home, bitch. I know we can't get home. She's going to be looking for me while you here. I need you to man Did you up. call Olivia a bitch? No. She know. Quit whining. Oh, my God. <laughs> and tie these goddamn logs together oh so we can goodness. make a boat and get out. That's why I knew I should have picked Cookie. Girl, cookie. That's why. Everybody told me not phone, to bring your little pretty ass ain't. over here. Because her phone, her little t- her phone ain't working. Oh, her phone. She, know, she, she need her phone to get to the president. Like she got to get to that She's trying to call the I president. I can't breathe. The yeah. sun is going down. We about to get killed out here. And she Stop try- weeping. Weeping. Now, and Cookie, <laughs> she, this bitch is whining and crying. Cookie would have oh taken her bra off and strapped it around them daggone logs. And we would have made it. Made it. Cookie is a gangster. You take She'd the gangster She'd have punched a shark you. in the nose. In the <laughs> face. <laughs> yes. We'd have, we'd have been the first people to ride back on a shark's back. Right. Oh, my Cookie's God. Cookie's going. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Talk stranded my ass. I wish we would. Oh my goodness. You guys are incredible. You have such an amazing chemistry. And for that reason alone, I don't know if anybody else in Baltimore is going to the show, but I will be there. Absolutely. Oh, it's going to be great. Kim Whitley, David Arnold at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. And thank you, my parachute people, uh, for watching us. Uh, that's right, y'all. Follow us on Twitter. A social media. Is that what you call it? Sweet. Yeah, a Twitter. social media? Did you say across the board? Give them your MySpace. Oh, no. I will smack No, he's really trying to set you up now. And your page your number. (laughs) (laughs) What's the social media handle? At Kim Whitley. That's K-Y-M-W-H-I-T-L-E-Y. And I'm at David A. Arnold, D-A-V-I-D-A-A-R-N-O-L-D. All right, you got it. Follow Kim Whitley and David Arnold and make sure you're at that show. I hate my sex in this time. I don't like you. Give me a kiss. <laughs> you know what I don't like? I don't like that you can't grow a full beard. A mustache. This is it. Your this mustache hilarious. won't get big. That's what no, I don't I like keep about it you. Short like that in case I decide to do porno. It's about.